what's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development and today I have an awesome unboxing type video for you. Today I have flavors that were sent to me from Flavor Art of Italy. It wasn't really Flavor Art in North America. I actually contacted uh, Flavor Art directly uh, through their Italian website. So all this stuff was shipped to me internationally. They were nice enough to send me 10 flavors because... They like what I'm trying to do on this channel and they want to show their support and uh, maybe future down the line there'll be some more partnerships together but only time will tell but uh, as a thank you I want to get this uh, video out showing you all the goodies they sent me um, I just got done creating my live stream I just had a first live stream on my channel and just got a content not a strike but a, a copyright notice i guess you got to be very careful on the music you play on live streams and stuff like that i should have been more careful but i'm not in trouble or anything my account's still in good standing but uh i can't monetize that live video which i took ads off right away because i had a feeling that that song was going to go bad by playing that in my live stream but that's nor here nor there now i gotta try to find some uh uh, content that's actually I'm allowed to play so I gotta look more into that for my live streams so we get some more stuff for intermissions but anyways back to this video you guys probably don't want to hear about that so let me put you down to the down below scale and I will show you these cool things okay so here are the cool things I got from flavor art notice the packaging it's in Italian but in Italian it says and people from Italy, please don't get mad at me for butchering this. Uh, but it says, uh, sim Simplicamente Perfecto. You gotta say it with that little accent there. <laughs> no, but basically I got it translated. And basically it says, Simply Perfect. That's what it means. And by golly, it is Simply Perfect. Flavor Art has some great great flavors now you can see me in the flavor art flavors so let's just open these like i love the packaging it's wonderful so in the first box if you notice you open it like this and all your flavors just come in there in this very beautiful packaging well so let me run through them the first one i got is uh, flavor art strawberry uh, in Italian it says regola which I'm not sure what that means but probably strawberry or something in Italian I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these Italian words anymore it's probably just offending people so let's smell this one all right that's a very good strawberry it tastes sorry not taste it smells very authentic this is a very popular strawberry here. Yeah, so it kind of tastes very authentic, but it also, on the back end, it kind of tastes a little bit candied. So it's kind of in between. All right, so that's the first one I got. Flavor Art Strawberry. Sometimes it's called Red Touch as well. The next one I got is Flavor Art Pineapple. Let's give this one a smell. Oh, wow. This one doesn't smell candied at all. This smells like an actual pineapple, like a pineapple chunk. Oh god, that's strong. Way too much. Way too much. Wow. That's good, though. I have some plans for that. Maybe a pina colada. Or something along those lines. But that's Flavor Art Pineapple. Followed by... Flavor Art Kiwi. 
Weaver Art Kiwi. Let's give this one a little smell. Mm. Yummy. Oh, that's really good. That might be the best kiwi I've tried. It tastes nice and juicy and real. I'm noticing Flavor Art does really good with their fruits. They taste very authentic to like what they are in real life. All right, so those are the first three. Okay. Next up is Flavor Art Banana. Flavor Art Banana. Oh, wow. This one's different. Oops. I got some on my nose. I'm supposed to inhale it. <laughs> Actually, technically you are, but once you mix it. All right. Okay, see, this one smells weird. This one smells like banana, but at the same time, it smells like there's coffee in it. I mean, I know Italians are deep into their espressos. It's good. It tastes like a ripe banana. But it kind of also tastes like maybe a little bit. Maybe that's just how they're achieving this flavor profile. Because I'm not sure exactly how hard it is to make a real banana flavor. But on the back end, it really tastes like a ripe banana. But it tastes like there's like coffee notes or something like that in there. It tastes like just a little bit. Not like crazy, but like... Right towards the end, it, it tastes like there's coffee. All right, next up is Flavor Art Blackberry. Flavor Art Blackberry. So let's give this one a sniff. Okay, this one. This one, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't really smell too much like the other blackberries. Maybe you just can't smell this one. It smells more florally. Like, it smells more like flowers. Give it a try. Okay. I don't... I don't know about this one too much. This one kind of tastes like a mixture of flowers and perfume, which these are all technically fragrances, but I don't know about Flavor Art Blackberry. I'm sorry, guys, but maybe in a mix it'll be perfect. I gotta, I gotta mess around with it, but it also might just be very concentrated, maybe in conjunction with other blackberries. I don't know. I, I gotta do some research about that flavor art blackberry. Okay. Let me just clear my palette for a minute. Okay, next up is flavor art mad fruit. So <laughs> when you when you pick when you wanna make a nice mix and just some ordinary fruit won't do it. And you need some mad fruit. You got flavor art mad fruit. No, I got. I honestly, I didn't really look up what mad fruit is when I requested this flavor. Basically, what happened was, I'm really into like a berry mix, harvest berry from Capella, and a lot of the, like forest mix is another one from Flavor Art that I have. I'm into those uh, berry mixed flavors. So when I saw mad fruit, I thought it was like another mixed flavor, which it is, but, hold on. It is, but it isn't. To me, I've already tried this one, but I'll try it in front of the camera again. To me, and what the description says. Well, let's talk about what the description says. 
The description says, or at least the flavor notes on Flavor Art Mad Fruit say it's supposed to be a Red Bull type flavor, and then they ended up changing their name and because probably because you know they can't call it Red Bull. Uh, but it, it's supposed to be like a Red Bull mixed fruit type flavor, which I definitely get that. It tastes like an awesome Red Bull flavor. I would say it's pretty accurate to that. But when I tried this, this wasn't the only thought that I got from trying this. And I already put it to work. I already made a mix, which I'm going to make another video about. But it actually tastes exactly like uh, Pez or Sweet Tarts or like Pez candy. You know, Pez, you know, like those little cool things that come out. Everybody knows what Pez are. It tastes like Pez candy. Then again, so doesn't Red Bull, really. So. Yeah, I made a mix already. Awesome recipe. It's a Pez slash Sweet Tart recipe. Strawberry. It's coming out soon. It tastes phenomenal, and it uses that flavor. All right, so we're almost to the end of them here. Next up is Flavor Art Custard. Now, Flavor Art Custard, I wanted to get because I want to have most of the custards, but also because... This custard sets itself apart from the other custards because this one isn't really a vanilla custard, more of a, has a lemon note in it. Which, I'll try it and sniff it in front of you. Yep, you see flavor, some flavor art flavors have this, uh, let's just say, they're unique. They're unique to flavor art. Flavor art definitely pushes the boundaries of flavors, which is awesome. They're not like every other flavor. They're not like TFA. They're not like Flavor West. They're their own individual flavor company. Like you can try a flavor and know it's by Flavor Art just because they don't do what everybody else is doing. They do their own thing. And this one's no different. You can smell it and you know it has a lot of the same compounds as some other flavors like say, Tyrone or Flavor Art Meringue. It kind of just has this note to it that you, or at least that I can pick up on that smells similar. Let's try this one out. Oh, that's delicious. This Custard by Flavor Art, I've already used this in a mix too. Phenomenal. And that's why I picked it up. I heard great things about it. I wanted to try it. Flavor Art Custard, it's a custardy, lemony flavoring excellent excellent flavor probably gonna have a lot more fun with that too okay next up is flavor art pear flavor art pear it smells exactly like a real authentic pear how does it taste it tastes like a juicy pear that it tastes like a juicy pear that you literally just bit into very authentic very authentic it tastes exactly what it sounds like maybe a little bit a little bit sweet too which is good it has an inherent sweet note some people actually use pear as a sweetener me you know me if you watch any of my other videos i like sweetener which is something that Flavor Art doesn't believe in. But me, I like sweeteners. But you know what? That's my choice. And that's what makes DIY great. You can add something or you can't. It's your choice. I like sweetener. But some people actually use Flavor Art Pear as a sweetener. Okay, next up. And this is a biggie, guys. This is a brand new one. This one will actually run you a little bit more money than other Flavor Art flavors. And this one is... dun dun dun, dun. Flavor Art Zeppoli, or Zeppola, or, again, I don't know the proper pronunciation of it, but what it's supposed to be is, I believe uh, uh, Zeppola, or Zeppoli, is actually its own Italian uh, pastry. See, most people uh, see this flavor and they're like, it's a donut, it's a donut. But really, I'm pretty. I'm almost positive, and I have some Italian relatives. Uh, a zeppoli is actually an Italian pastry. It's not a donut, or maybe it's like an Italian donut, but it's not like an American donut. 
but you can still achieve the same flavors with this one and this one's an excellent flavor i already had this one but i had to get more i wanted a little small bottle this one you don't pass up on this is definitely a great new flavor from flavor art try this one out mm. there's a little bit of that fry note not too much but it has that doughy note, that perfect pastry flavoring. Definitely a new staple. Definitely a new staple. They're definitely giving Capella glazed donut and, of course, uh, frosted donut from TFA. Definitely a run for their money. They're the new, ki they're the new kings of the club. All right. Last but not least, last but not least, we are looking at flavor art. Biscotto or flavor art cookie. Sorry for butchering the names. And of course, it's just it smells like a plain cookie slash biscuit. It's perfect. It's perfect to help build on your bakery recipes or, or make a cookie. You can make a cookie if you want. Mm hmm. This one is another staple. Flavor art biscuit. I'm sorry, flavor art cookie. Is definitely a staple along with uh, an aware biscuit, but this one is good for its own things. I love flavor art cookies. Sometimes I think I even like it better than an aware biscuit. That's my personal opinion, but I do know they both have their own place. But this one is a must have from flavor art along with meringue and a couple others. I will probably aggregate a list of my favorites from flavor art, but flavor art does a great job. And the majority of their flavorings, I do love them. I hope you like this little unboxing. And a special thank you to Flavor Art for believing in my channel and wanting to send me these 10 flavors. It really does mean a lot to me. I will get some great use out of them. And make sure you keep your eye out and subscribe because a recipe with these flavorings is dropping very soon. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it down in the description below. Or in the comments, shall I say. And put a like on this video and make sure you subscribe if you're new here and you guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.